What's up, Divine Feminine? And Divine Masculine, if you up in here, welcome, welcome, welcome with your handsome self and my beautiful niece. Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, but you can call me Auntie. Shout out to the Scorpios out there. But Divine Feminine, I found my old self-made Bible from when I had my original channel. And this is what I call my Bible. Okay. These are all of the channel messages. that I had from this other channel. And I'm holding it right here because I just said, okay, spirit, give me a give me a message out of here. And I opened it up. And I opened up on the page where it said, they're getting exposed for the spell work they that, that they did on a divine feminine. See, when someone does does spell work on a divine feminine or a divine masculine, they will reap hectic hectic karma. <laughs> okay. Because a divine feminine is always in a positive energy. Okay. She's and when she's a divine feminine, that means she's in the energy of all the four queens upright. So if she's in the energy of all the four queens upright, that means she's the queen of cups, very loving, nurturing, caring, and compassionate. She's in the king of in the queen of pentacles energy upright. Her money is right. Her bank account is right. She either makes money at home, make has a good homemaking job, or work from home, work on her computer, or she can own a business, or something she's doing that's making her long-term financially stable. Okay. And a queen of wands is a very hot, sexy, passionate, confident woman. Beautiful. And she attracts men of all different races, all different whatever. All men love her because she's so, such a social butterfly. And the Queen of Swords is a feminine energy that will cut your head off, off with your head, bite your head off, tell you what she thinks of you. She ain't going to bite her tongue. She going to tell you what it is. It is what it is. And there's more to come to a divine feminine, but those are some of the, you know, the way I look at it, the overall energies. When you look up the energies of, of the queens and the kings, and when you put the kings and the queens all together, you come up with the divine masculine or divine feminine. And somebody out there chose to do some sort of spell work on you, divine feminine. So I asked what, you know, what's going on with this person? who chose to do some spell work on you. And the first card that came out was the sun in reverse. They're not happy. Now the sun can, can represent in reverse. This person, it was exposed to you that they did some sort of spell work and it being in reverse could mean that they're not happy that it was exposed, okay, um, 
this person, because they chose to do some spell work against the divine energy, they're destined for, to have bad luck. Because you didn't do nothing to this person. And it's like, apparently, you're the one giving this person karma. Okay, the most high in your spirit, guys, are two, you know. But what I feel is, is you are not remaining calm in a situation with this person no more. Your tolerance has ran out. You can't tolerate it no more. So you possibly, you know, you may not even know who this person is. But you may know. Some of you know. Some of you what are are awakened to the fact that somebody was is doing magic towards you or you know spell work towards you some of you you're aware of who it is some of you are aware that somebody is doing it but you don't know who they are whoever they are i'm letting you know that they're unhappy and we're gonna find out why and I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button for me. I'm asking you to share this video. If you're a person, you're a loner or whatever, and you stay to yourself, you don't have no friends, you don't have no social media, but you have different platforms or different emails, send them to all of them. Send them in, in send it in your, your email, in a bulk email. Send it in, a, if you're in a, a group chat or a group, uh, uh, on a platform and you're in a group on Facebook put it send it put it in there um, share it on your Instagram share it on your TikTok share it on your you know even if you have to um, clip pieces of it and, and share it just don't share it and put no fucked up shit you know as a title or I mean you know just do do right by auntie. But we're going to find out. So, whoever this person is, you, when you was with this person, you, you tried to remain calm in a situation. But we don't know what that situation is, do we? So, let's find out. And again, I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button. What was going on with the collective and this? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to use this deck yet. See, certain decks are, are um, they give you certain answers for certain situations. And I know the majority of you are here because you want to know what's going on with either your ex who you recently broke up with, someone who you're with right now, but you're just not talking to them. Somebody you may be with, you're not living with them, you're not, you're not talking to them, but you want to know. And for some of you, this could be a family member. This could be a best friend or somebody that's around you. But whoever the energy that's around you, you may be about to be um, that they're getting, you may, you may be the one to see them get some sort of karma because they was doing spell work. Yeah, they, they're in sorrow now. They're thinking about your intimacy. This is not, this is not, this, we're going to see what's going on with the, with the, not your family members. This is the person who some of you, an ex-partner or something. Some of you, it could be family member, but it's a past life karmic, past life karmic. And now this person is confused. They're, they're, they're sad and they're confused. Because apparently, 
they tried to send a spirit of confusion to you. And the tables will turn. So whatever, you know, they send out to you is going to go back to them. They sent the spirit of confusion to you. Now they're confused. Yeah. And see, this person wanted you to be few, be confused so you wouldn't reject them. You wouldn't know that they doing some bullshit or something. That they're either cheating or they're manipulating you or lying on you. They was doing something, some sort of spell work to mess with your mind. They getting karma for this shit. Yeah. Yeah, they were sending you block. They blocked their emotions and was sending you mixed signals. The confusion. Having you confused. So they were, it's like, this person, the, the magic that they're doing. We'll see later if, we're going to find out if they were actually doing spell work. Or if this is word manipulation. If it's, um moon magic or what but it's it's <sighs> I believe you know and you like saying I'm not tolerating this shit no more let me let me um, let me clear I didn't I didn't do the sage Show me the energy surrounding this person who was doing spell work when it comes to collecting. And again, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Confirmation for somebody. Look what the first fucking card came out. See? Mm. See, when they send in a negative mindset to you, that's where the confusion comes in. They wanted you to be confused because they was being deceptive. See, they wanted you, they, they were trying to do some sort of spell work just basically for you to be stupid, for them to be able to do some cheating or whatever the fuck they doing. I got to get more room. Wait a minute. This person made, you know, um... They was doing something to break up your family, you and your family from talking or uh, you being around your family. Somebody did some sort of spell work because when I put the other deck up, it showed the family in reverse. So somebody is not talking to their family. And uh, for some of you, it could be your family who did some shit to you, but somebody did a curse. Yeah, because they mad at you. What the fuck they mad for? They mad because you're not tolerating they bullshit no more with tempers in reverse. That's what it is. So they want to do some fucking bush, some hocus pocus. Because they mad. They mad. This is some bullshit. This is telling you right here, Collective, and you've seen the cards flip out. Curse, elusive, and bitterness. See, they try to send, they were secretly trying to send curses and do hocus pocus on you, but they didn't fucking know that you, confirmation, they didn't know that you're protected. And they don't know that you, you don't, 
You don't retaliate. You don't do nothing. You just protect your energy. You let your spirit guides, you let the most high God, you let your ancestors handle the shit in the spiritual realm. You just ask for divine protection. And that's what somebody's been doing. I know I'm doing it. Secretly. Doing spell work and curses. Now, because, see, they wanted you, whoever they are, they wanted you to be unhappy. They wanted you to be, you know, losing money, not having, you know, they try to fuck with your destiny. And now they bitter. Man, they need to be kicking their own damn self in the ass. Why are they bitter? Why is this person bitter? Divine Collective. Mm. Okay, y'all. So this this is time now. You better start um, tying your head up at night. If you don't, tie your head up at night. Put a line of salt across your front door. Um. Take spiritual baths. And if you don't know what how to take a spiritual bath, you can look up how to take a spiritual bath for, for protection. Um, I have my spiritual bath mixes that I make. And they're for $15 if you want to order one from me. I make my own spiritual bath mixes. Y'all better hurry up because I use these motherfuckers. I will use them. I need my spiritual protection, and they actually help, okay? <clears throat> and you can get them for $15. The devil don't want me to tell y'all. He don't want you to, to, that's that's a real good price for $15, okay? So, if you want to order one, and these also comes with my spiritual protection package for $44.44. Um... But anyway, yeah, you need to take spiritual baths because this is somebody now and you done walked away from them. You done blocked them and you're avoiding it. They pushed you away. They avoided you. They walked away from you. And all because you generated the same energy back to their ass, they want to do some fucking spell work on you want to send a curse towards you, hexes, negative mindset. Avoiding, blocking, pushing you away. See, when this person was was blocking you, it was probably times you were calling, they just wouldn't answer the phone. This was when you was with them. The phone would just ring. And they would be sitting somewhere with a karmic energy looking at the phone ring. And the more you called, the more they felt like they was the shit. Look how many times she called. She all on my nuts. He all on my shit. But then when you, when you started giving them that same energy back, when you just withdrew your energy, that's basically what they did to you. You withdrew your energy. And now they mad. But they withdrew their energy from you. Because they was being sneaky. They were being deceptive. Telling a web of lies. So we about to clarify all four of these cards. And I want you all to hit that thumbs up button if you don't mind. And I appreciate you and I love you and I thank you. Auntie drinking her little cappuccino. I done had to heat it up three times because I can't just drink it fast. Shout out to the cappuccino drinkers. If you like cappuccino, put in the comments. Somebody laughed. Okay, so we're going to clarify this curse. And each card 
that I clarified down here, I'm going to use a different deck. Okay. For the curse card, I'm going to use my witches. Um... My witches, what is it called? The witches of wisdom. Okay, witches, wisdom, oracle cards. I'm gonna use these because they talk about spell work, witchcraft, and shit. I'm gonna try to give y'all the, the most accurate read or the most clarifying read that you can possibly get from auntie but all i'm asking is y'all to share this video share it on your email share it in email um in a group share it on your other social media platforms emotions in reverse this, this is the chalice. Wish fulfillment. You know, this is in reverse. So, this person. That's crazy. So, they, they are trying to do some sort of curse or a hex. Either for you not to find your wish fulfillment because you walked away from them. Or for, for no one to have no emotions towards you. Or you not to have no emotions, no love, or, or something like that. They're, they're, and, and for you to be off balance. Okay, again, start tying your head up at night with a scarf, a do-rag, head scarf, or something. Um, tie your head up at night. Put a line of salt across your door. Um, take a spiritual bath. If you don't want to order the spiritual bath mix for me, you can just get some regular table salt and put a half a cup into your bath water. Pink salt. But I herb I add um I add herbs to my you know herbs and, and dried flowers to my spiritual bath mix. And um different flowers have different healing properties. I don't know. I have so many. I don't even remember what the... Some of them are chrysanthemums. Some of them are... Um, Just to name a few, because I have so many dried flowers that I put in my spiritual bath mixes. I have chrysanthemums in some of them. Um, some of them have lotus seed. Okay. Some of them have rosemary. Some of them have jasmine. And um, some of them have rose petals, um, lavender. Um, they just all have different, different um, flowers in them for healing. Okay, but um, anyway, yeah, somebody is is whoever this person is. They're trying to send curses to you to have you off balance. And possibly because this is somebody who did you dirty and got mad because you walked away from their deceptive behavior. This is what, this is some karmic shit. A person who will get mad at you because they was either cheating on you, they wasn't being honest with you, they were lying to you. And they want you to 
accept that bullshit. You know, that's, I mean, this is a, a narcissistic motherfucker that's saying, yeah, I'm going to cheat on you, but you still better let me come back anytime I want to. I can have as many holes out there as I want, but I want you. You got the divine pussy. You got the divine dick, but I want you. I need to, I need something. It's not that yours is, is good. It's just I need, sometimes I need some of that karmic pussy. Sometimes I need some of that karmic dick. You ain't got enough for me, divine masculine, divine feminine. These are karmic energies. They're selfish. But they'll want you to be with them one-on-one. -on -one. These are people who will be out there actually fucking other motherfuckers and get jealous over somebody who you've been knowing all your life and you ain't never even thought of being intimate with that person. And they don't want you around them. But they got all of these thoughts and holes and, and tricks and shit around them. Yeah, this is the motherfucker that's throwing doing spell work so again like I said tie your head up at night put a line of salt across your door also I know it's hot but burn a white candle burn even if you have to get some of the little small tea candles the little white candles that's about this big the little bitty candles Get some of them that's in the metal thing and burn three of them. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Spirit. Okay, so that way you're you're keeping a, a, a bright light around you. You're keeping the energy. And you also pay attention to how the flames flicker. Now when you when you're burning a candle in a glass jar. Um, this is one of the candles I made and um, these come this kind of candle this is for a sexual creativity I haven't burnt this because this is just like for advertising but my other candles that I made I've been burning them y'all haven't been ordering them and I haven't really been advertising them like I should. I don't have a website. So I've been burning my candles and I put my intention in them. And um, everything is going good for me right now. I'm, I'm blessed. I may not be the richest person in the world. I may be broke. But I'm blessed. And it's like, I'm blessed that I'm here because somebody did some, try to send some witchcraft to me two years ago and I had a stroke and that's when I was learning about spiritual protection and now I'm, I'm learning and I'm healed okay and it was also the witchcraft and the food that we eat okay it's witchcraft in that because the food that we eat is fake okay I'm just being real it's, it's, it, it has too much shit in it And this is why the government is wanting everybody to live in in um, apartments. Because that way you can't grow your own fruit, your own fruit, your own vegetables. If you're renting from somebody. You know, it's just, but I still, I'm, I grow my own little shit in my house. I'm growing me a dragon fruit plant and that motherfucker is sprouting real you know, I go out there and I sit down and I talk to it. I sit in the sun with it. I talk to it because I dedicated that plant. I got it from my dad house. He passed away. And my stupid ass brother sold his house and had me homeless for over a year. Where I was living, you know, comfortably. Paying the mortgage, paying the bills, keeping the yard clean and trimmed up. I know how to fucking cut grass. I know how to hedge and, and all of that shit. I'm a queen of queen of queen of um all of them. <laughs> I'm creative. I'm the magician. So my brother didn't like that, so he kicked me out. So in my case, this could be a family member doing spell work at me. 
because I didn't deal with him no more. I was cool. Want me to be off balance because he's off balance. Yeah. So, tell me more, spirit. Mm. See what I was just talking about. This is the alchemist. This is what, what I'm saying. You, you have... They try to throw some shit at you. <laughs> and if you protected yourself, everything that you know, some of you, like I said with the salt, you know how to take salt baths. Um, and what I just said about the herbs that's in my spiritual bath mix. You see what this say? Herbal Kitchen. Alchemist. You may have healing flowers in your backyard and you don't even know. Some of you, if you got beautiful flowers and plants and stuff in your yard, go and um, they have apps out there that'll tell you exactly what that plant is. And you go in your backyard and you, you pick a leaf or you take a picture of that, that plant and you um, go to that app that identify what plant is this. And when you take the picture of it, that that application will show you what plant that is and the name of it. Then when you find out the name of it, then you you actually take it and you go and um when you find out what the name of it is, you Google the name of it spiritually. What does this plant do spiritually? Health wise, is it poisonous? Is it healthy for me? All the plants and the flowers around your house start looking up because you may be sitting on a gold mine with a bunch of healing shit. Plants for protection. Some of you got aloe vera plants and don't know that that, that plant is um, a spiritual protection plant. Some of you have lemon trees and you don't know that those lemons are good for a lot of shit. Also, spiritual protection. Also, cleaning products and things like that things that god gave us naturally is around to help us against this wicked ass world that we living in so you better start paying attention if you got bay leaves in your cabinet look up what what bay leaves can do for you spiritually if you have cinnamon in your cabinet go look and see cinnamon is 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 good health wise and spiritual Okay, it's a lot of things out there that people don't understand, and they'll say it's witchcraft. But hell, I I I I don't even want to go to the the religious and the spiritual stuff and all of that because all of the colonization and colonization that happened, you know, in the past is still they still trying to do the shit now, wanting things to be hidden. But those of you that's awakened, you know. You know about certain herbal things. Start looking at them people that you that's walking around with these bracelets on like this. Start asking them what them bracelets mean. Them stones that they wearing around their neck. Ask them what they mean. They may have a message for you. To make you want to get one of those. Oh, I need that. What's the name of that? Start looking up stuff. How to spiritually protect yourself. And the energy, inner, inner, and how to energetically protect yourself. That's for somebody. That's for everybody. Okay. See, yep, prosperity. Because see, somebody is out there trying to um, block your. Your your you moving forward your your prosperity again stability in reverse. They want you with the staff in reverse. They want you to feel like you're not protected, but you are protected. Put it in the comments. I am protected. Yeah. So this is just showing this person they they're doing some sort of hex or curse because they 
want you to lose your stability. They they want no one to have no, you know, to be a wish fulfillment to you. They want you to be off balance. But they can't fuck with you. Because you're the alchemist. Okay? And you got shit in your kitchen that can help you. Okay? So let's, I'm going I'm to, now I haven't used this other deck that I'm about to use in a long time. And it's, it's a, it's, I'll, I'll say it's a, a alchemist deck. I, I don't know, I forget the name of it. But, um, this deck, it talks, it's, it's all about the, the, I think it's called the Witch's Brew Tarot. Witch's. The Witch's Cauldron or something to that effect. It's about. Uh, you'll see. As I pick it up, it said Rosemary. Somebody's name may be Rosemary. Somebody may cook with rosemary. Rosemary. Um, has something to do with memories. You can use rosemary in your hair as a hair tonic some sort of way. Probably the oil from rosemary oil. I have rosemary oil. You can cook with rosemary. So apparently it has some some purple flowers. I have rosemary in my in my um thing in my with my dried flowers. I have some rosemary. So some of you may just need to get some rosemary, cook with it. You can and and my my dry flowers. I also. I burned them with my sage. Yeah, I burned them with sage. I have some some dried rose petals in here, some chrysanthemums, and um, they're just I just crunched it up real good, and when I put it in here, I burn it all together. Yeah, and it don't take a lot. You know, you burn it and just blow, blow it and let it, you know, heat up a little and just clear your space real quick, okay? And call out them demons. Okay, so what are some of the tea tree oil? Nutmeg. And salt for protection. So didn't I just say salt for protection? You can use um, Himalayan salt. That's pink salt. Sea salt. Table salt. Epsom salt. Okay. Salt for protection. Okay. And treat tea tree oil for binding. And nutmeg for luck. So you can have some nutmeg in there. You may use nutmeg to make uh, pumpkin pie. Um, I use nutmeg when I ain't got no cinnamon. To make French toast with it, it basically it gives it the same taste to me. Um, you can, I guess, you can make some sort of nutmeg oil.
or you can make essential oil, ground nutmeg, I'm looking at the thing, you can't see. This is, this is, um, you can make accent, essential oil out of nutmeg, too. Some of you just need to read up on what nutmeg is good for, um. Yeah, something about nutmeg essential oil. You possibly can make your own um, with some oil, olive oil, and some nutmeg. I don't know. Look it up. But it's saying tea tree oil for binding because this person is, is bitter. You need to protect yourself with salt and bring some good luck to you. Okay, some of you are already doing it because the will of fortune is in reverse for them. So whatever, if they was trying to bind your money, it's, it's not working. Yeah. And don't forget you hit that thumbs up. If you can't watch the whole video, make sure you just hit the thumbs up before you leave. I appreciate you. out there that I'm scoop it up and it go in the other deck. So we're going to see what is it about you, Collective, why this person is so bitter when it comes to you. Why are they mad and why are they sending, trying to send evil towards you? Because they're a fucking narcissist and they're unloyal. This person may have just gotten out the hospital or they may be just getting over the flu or they couldn't be sick. Um, if, if so, this could be the energy that they tried to send towards you for you to be sick, mentally sick, physically sick, emotionally sick. They could have been trying to send a curse towards you for you to be sick. Let's see, with you escaping the energy out here, Whatever they try to send to you, it's, it's not working. This is why they're unhappy. Because you cut them off, see? And this is something they can't come back from. They must receive karma. Childish. This could be your child's father. This could be a person who they mad at you because they didn't take care of their responsibilities with the child. 
They may not have had a relationship with this child. Um, they may not have, you know, gave to the child or paid child support or, or they may be saying that the child is not theirs and you cut them off. This person may be saying that this, um, they don't believe this, they child, so I hope nobody tried to do nothing to a child with some sort of sharp object and the child passed away. I, I see it out here and I'm sorry if that did happen to somebody, but we, we're going to rebuke that spirit just in case. We rebuke every spirit that is not God that's trying to come against this child and this sharp object out here. I bind it and rebuke it and send it back to hell where it come from. Thank you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I don't know, but I have to tell you what I see. Some of you may just need to be careful. Make make sure your child is not around no sharp objects. Okay? Because somebody could send a curse to make someone's child go do something or pick up something or, you know, send a spirit. This shit really happens. Keep your knives and stuff away. Okay, that's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. I have to tell you what I see out here. And this is somebody, you know, they're being exposed. Now, if some of you, if you, did somebody, Lord forbid, somebody did lose a child or somebody's child could have been in the hospital behind somebody doing some spell work on you, they're going to get karma for that. They're not happy. Okay? Oh, man, and this is a narcissistic motherfucker that's mad because they wanted you to, to deal with them being toxic. And mad because you walked away and you done blocked them. But if you done blocked them, they really still can't do shit. If you're energetically blocking them, spiritually blocking them, emotionally blocking them, they probably feeling fucked up right now. And you with that 10 out there, you cut some shit off. The star in reverse. Yeah, because see, this person, the star is all about you know, bringing renewed hope and faith in the sense that you're truly blessed by the universe. This person didn't make you feel like you was blessed by the universe by having them. They was blessed by the universe to have you. And then when you awakened and found out who the fuck you are, you walked away. And now they want to do some magic on you. That's why they monkey ass is being exposed. For some of you, this person was, you know, they was giving you anxiety attacks. For some of you, this person could be, this is the rats. This could be somebody who was, you know, making making little things happen. You know, little things was falling apart. Um, little small problems was happening. That's because of this motherfucker. Somebody could have lost their job behind this person doing some sort of hocus pocus. But right about now, they getting karma. Everything they did to you. It's coming back to them. They done lost their job or they're about to lose their job or somebody close that they care about is going to lose their job. We rebuke that spirit. Okay. Tell me more. And this person is doing this because they not a star. Some of you was married to this person. And you walked away. They was a fucked up individual. And you walked away from them. And they got the nerves to be mad. Why did the collective walk away? Mm. Journey in reverse. <laughs> this your spirit guides and ancestors. Nature in reverse. Delayed paperwork. So yeah, this person, whoever they are, they they was trying to stop you from divorcing them. If you was married to this person, and if you wasn't married to this person, you could have been in some sort of legal thing with them. Or um, I, this is the marriage out here, the marriage card, and this person. They were trying to stop you from moving forward by doing curses, 
and the universe is very disappointed in this individual. They not about to receive no blessings from the universe. Nope. 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 They not. And this is a person that's for the streets. They could be a hood rat or a street rat. Pick and choose. But whoever they are, they monkey ass is getting karma. Okay? They getting it. And they're unhappy. That's why that sun is in reverse. They are unhappy. Okay, so I'll come back in the next reading. We'll just continue this on. But all I'm doing is asking everybody to hit that thumbs up for me. And we're going to get more information on this karmic energy who's doing this cursing. But see, like I said, I, I got my book here. So it's going to be different. My, these are, are readings that, from what I channeled, like five and six years ago and they started attacking my channel um they just was sending all sorts of shit to i left that channel very seldom i go and put on the channel these the same people that was attacking me on that channel they still watch and still subscribe and so when i do you know upload that's why i created this channel to expose the ass okay so, if you like this reading, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you share this video on your other social media platforms, on your other, um, any other platform, email, YouTube, share it in a, a spam mail, forward it, you know, just, just send it, send it, send it. And if you're interested in a personal reading, or if you're interested in purchasing one of my spiritual bath mixes, then you can email me at pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. Again, that's pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. And I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.